Hi, everyone. I'm Stephanie Amore, your large law specialist with the Thomas Group and Real Broker, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtors. Today, we're going to be diving into an exciting and sometimes overlooked area of real estate, purchasing vacant lots. So whether you're looking to build your dream home or you're looking to start a new investment project or just making a strategic land purchase, purchasing a vacant lot can be a smart move. So let's go ahead and dive into the process of purchasing vacant land. A vacant lot is a vacant plot of land with no existing structures on it. Now, vacant lots can be very flexible. So you can put a custom home in it, or you can build your business, or you can hold on to it as an investment property. Vacant lots are also more affordable than purchasing an existing structure, and they give you more control over the size and layout of whatever structure it is that you want to build on it. first thing you're going to want to do is assess your finances. So getting financing for a vacant lot is going to be a little bit different than purchasing a home. So usually when you're purchasing a vacant lot, those purchases happen in all cash. However, if you need a lender, just be mindful of the fact that it might have stricter requirements. So for example, to purchase a vacant lot, you may need to provide 20% or more down in order to get the rest of the loan. You may also need a higher credit score. And if you plan on building on the lot, the lender may require that you use one of their approved builders. Now there are two main types of loans that you could use to purchase a vacant lot. So one is a construction to permanent loan, and then the other one is going to be a standalone construction loan. Now the first is the construction to permanent loan. These loans are used to cover the cost of the land plus the cost of construction. Once the property has been built, then the loan converts into a standard mortgage loan. This can be really convenient because then you're not having to take out multiple loans. Now the standalone construction loan only covers the cost of constructing the property. Once the property is constructed, your loan may mature and you may need to either pay off that loan completely or you may need to take out another loan to pay off the construction loan and that loan will eventually become your mortgage. Now, just like with any real estate purchase, one of the things that you're going to have to take into account when looking for a vacant lot is location. So you're going to want to make sure that whatever property you purchase is going to be located in an ideal situation for what you're looking to do. Now, something that's a little different when purchasing a vacant lot versus a home is you're going to have to look at utilities and you're also going to have to look at development plans. So you might wanna take a look and see whether the utilities are already ready and set up for there to be a structure on the property or whether utilities have to be brought in. You're also going to want to take a look at zoning and you're gonna to wanna to take a look at any sort of future development that might be near the property. Now, the next important thing to check for when you're purchasing a vacant lot is to check for any sort of restrictions on the property. So check out zoning laws because that will tell you if there are any restrictions on what can be built on the property or what you can do with the property once it is built. Now, something I want you guys to keep in mind is to make sure that you and your agent verify everything because sometimes you can have a listing that states that the utilities are only 25 feet away and then they turn out to be 100 feet away. So just make sure that everything is verified before purchasing a land because otherwise you could run into a lot of issues. Now, I know we've already talked about this, but it's just so important that you guys do this. So step four is making sure that all of the utilities are available for the property if you're choosing to build a structure on that vacant lot. So not all vacant lots come with immediate access to things like electricity, water, or sewage. So it's important to check with the county and with the city to confirm what is available and how much it would cost to get access to those utilities if they're not already immediately available. Now today I brought you to this vacant lot. So this lot is located on the corner of Ann and Torrey Pines, and it is just over 30,000 square feet. As you can see, this property is flanked by other single family homes, and it is currently listed for just over 230,000. 
This lot is not in an HOA community, which I know a lot of people love, and it's also zoned for horses. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you have any questions about any large lot properties, whether you're looking to buy or sell a large lot property, please feel free to give me a call at the number below. Remember, I am Steph and I am Extension 5, and you can also reach out to me through the Thomas Group website at thethomasgrouplv.com.